It's all dark fur, isn't it, Cope? I literally should be sponsored by all this, guys, because I like to promote them, but anyway. Here's the Primark bag. Literally got spray everywhere. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I haven't been uploading as much as I thought I would. I actually need to edit a vlog right here. The dog is acting really strange, honestly. I don't know why every time I get the camera out. I think he just doesn't like the camera, guys. So as I was saying, I actually need to edit a vlog, which I was just about to do. And I was like, no, I better start the vlog because I haven't started this vlog yet. And I thought I'd do like a weekend vlog, clash what i usually do you know just random shit in a vlog <laughs> i haven't really got much planned today the weather outside is so atrocious honestly it's just raining 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 but recently we've had some really nice days where it's just been like really sunny and it makes it feel like spring is coming because this weather honestly just makes me feel so depressed there is some sunny days coming like next week i'm off work and the weather's meant to be sunny again so i'm really happy about that please ignore this top also this top is so creased i've just sprayed some crease releaser on it by Lenore and I'm kind of like drenched now like I'm really like wet I should have done it before I put it on because I couldn't be bothered to get the ironing board out and the iron just to iron one top because it's such faff I haven't got many plans today well I haven't got any plans yet so I thought what's the point of actually ironing my top if I haven't got any plans see so yeah my hair is so regrown guys can you remember when I actually first got my hair done like it's grown this much it's unbelievable and my battery camera is already flashing I'm gonna get Jane to order me a camera battery because I can't cope with this anymore and you're fed up with me moaning about it because I'm going to buy it in every vlog and I edit my previous video which i done which was come driving me which I said I don't know if I'm even going to put on YouTube I haven't even started editing it yet so guys ignore this huge other thing going on on my chin here I don't really know what's happening I really don't know what's happening but I don't know if I spoke about it because ever since I come off my pill I've come off my pill guys and ever since my skin has just been atrocious and i didn't think i had bad skin before i even went on my pill which i didn't think was going to be a big concern when i came off it but look at it hello there guys this is my new friend and i do have some other little spots but makeup's done a good job covering them up it's just this one <laughs> just this little friend on my chin here i don't really know what my plan is for today i i'm just like i've woken up i was going to do a workout but then i couldn't bother to do a workout i went to primark yesterday so i was going to include like a little primark haul in this vlog because i'm going on holiday guys in less than a month well literally a month away whilst you're watching this like a month away and i'm going on holiday to jamaica it's so exciting so all the holiday content is going to begin and i'm going to start doing like little hauls here and there when i can and when i pick up a few pieces because spring's coming over in the uk and plus spring for us the last couple of years has been really nice weather so hopefully again this year it's going to be nice again for us so we can wear some nice summer outfits because i literally love a summer outfits compared to winter like i don't like winter fits at all like i don't like the idea of layering because you get too hot or you're too cold and you can't there's no in between when it's summer you could just wear like a pair of denim shorts with a nice t-shirt and you'll look good to go yeah i'm gonna just charge this battery before it cuts me off <laughs> ignore this quality i'm actually vlogging on my phone because my camera is not yet charged Kobe's just eating his food, which you can hear. But I've just finished editing the Come Drive With Me vlog slash Come Shop With Me video. To be honest, it's not the best video, guys. So if it does end up online, it's literally like a seven to ten minute long video. I'm not even done the outro or nothing. It's just so random, which is why I'm a bit like, do I even post it? I'm a bit in two minds. I don't really know what I'm going to do. This is the little Primark bag, which... It's full of all bits and pieces, which I don't know if I'm going to film on my phone or it's probably best to wait until my vlog camera is charged up. I really want to show you what I got, what I've picked up from Primark. It looks like a pretty really small bag, but there's actually quite a few bits in here. Should I just show you? I better be quick though, because I've got a toasty. I'm, I'm making a toasty, which is really random. Let me put you over here. Also, I'm in my dressing gown because it got really cold, like it always is in my house. Here's the Primark bag. Going back to the old school times where I'm vlogging on my phone, it just feels so weird. Right, hang on. So first of all, I picked up these trousers. So I've seen, so I've been trying to watch like so many like holiday haul outfits and like summer outfits, but it's really hard because it's like not even spring yet. So nobody's doing like recent up to date, like spring hauls or summer hauls of what to get. I've been looking at like old ones and I've seen, no, actually I've seen a TikTok and this girl was like fashion inspo for, <laughs> um this summer she was saying like flared 
like see-through trousers are like a really good vibe to go for because girls were just wearing them with like bikini tops and I was like, I need them. And then once she said that, I went into Primark and I had a pair. So these are just like a white linen sort of effect, like wide leg trouser. I picked these up. So originally I picked these up in a size small because that's what I'm normally at, like size eight to 10. They were huge. I tried them on in the changing room and they were so baggy around the waist. So I then went back and changed them to an extra small and these are six to eight and they were only 10 pounds. And hopefully these are big, like they will fit because they're like so stretchy the waistband anyway. So hopefully they should be fine. So I picked those up. They also had them in black. Kobe, can you sit down? They also had them in black. So I want to go back and pick them up in the black color. I also picked up two like basic tops. These remind me of like Zara tops with the like stringy straps. These were three pounds and I picked these up in an extra small just because the small also looked so big. So these fit really well. So I picked up a yellow and I also picked up a white. And when I tried these on as well, they're not that see-through. I was a bit scared like having the nips on show because I don't tend to wear bras with things like this. But they were actually fine. So these were three pounds. Also picked up a hat. Well, I don't actually know who I think I am, but I thought a hat would be cool to wear because it's gonna be like really hot. This looks really weird. I need to sort my hair out. But I thought with like maybe at the airport, like good vibes like this isn't a vibe with my dressing gown on i know that but and my hair looking like this this was literally only two pounds and it's made using recycled plastic and i love the color they had this in like a khaki color which i also really liked and a black i picked up a back pack of hair pans which i actually opened and i seen if anybody follows emily ball on instagram and tiktok she spoke about on her recent youtube video she done she like swear buys these hair bands in Primark and they look really weird like you can see they're like really weird looking but they have got so much stretch but she said she uses for buns so I done my hair in a bun today which is kind of falling out because I've got like so many layers come with like a mixture of like lighter and darker nude colors they seem really good for keeping your hair in and they are like really stretchy so you can tie them around loads of times so if you've got thick hair like me these are going to be really good picked up the trusty pair of white socks white trainer socks which were literally two pounds like if you don't go into primark and don't pick up a pair of socks then who the hell are you because i i swear by these socks also i can see like a dead spider out on my windowsill like oh uh. right i need to quickly just chuck on my toasty hang on my toasty is done right got the toasty but i'm not gonna eat it until i finish this little bit of a haul right then i picked up these were so nice now guys look at these these reminded me of like zara dupes some like sandals these were literally four pounds and they had them in black as well so i might go back and get the black ones like when you're in there and you're like do i need both do i think i'd wear both but now that i've tried them on they're really comfy and these would be like my nighttime sandals i don't really wear like heels or anything i might just buy like a one pair of heel that would go with like multiple outfits if i fancied wearing a heel oh my god what is that in my hair i'm actually a state in this video like what is that like a bit of fluff four pounds kobe's sniffing my <laughs> toasty but yeah bargain for these moving back onto the bikini slash like beach wear um i picked up this bikini so this one guys i actually look so fat in a bikini like i actually cannot believe how much weight i've put on because the last holiday i went on was like 2019 and obviously i'm thinking in my head like oh that went too long ago but it actually was a long time ago. I had to size up. Also, I had to size up. I'm normally the biggest I've been is a size 10. I had to size up on the bottoms to a size 12 because the 10 was just cutting into my bum cheek. Don't know if my bum's grown. I think I've just put on weight. <laughs> I'm trying to say that my bum's grown, but I think it's just I put on weight on my bottom half. Like size 10 on the top and size 12 on the bottoms. But to be honest, they don't even look that big. Like, they don't look big at all. Like, they're tiny. I'm not trying to beat myself up about it because I know, like, with Primark, you have to normally size up anyway. But I've never been, I've never bought anything in a size 12. Never in my life until I've bought these. So, you know, I probably could have gotten away with the 10, but I don't like the, like, cut out bum cheek look. And I normally like raising them up a bit higher. So they're on, like, my waistband. Like, no, not on my waist. They're, like, on my hips. Are they the same thing? I don't really know. And I thought that was very like summer, like Caribbean vibes with the orange. I just love it. Then I picked up this one. I think this is like my favorite one out of the booth. But these are the bottoms. I love the straps on the side because I, like I said, I like raise them up higher. So they're like sat on your hips a bit higher. 
And these are also a size 12. I could again got away with a size 10. But I just don't like the cutting in the bum cheek vibe. So gone for the size 12. And then I gone with the under, it's like an underwired. Hang on, let me just tie up the clasp, not tie up. Also, these clasps don't seem that great for Primark. Like I'm scared. I'm gonna be in the pool and then they're gonna ping undone. They don't seem that safe. Like you literally could just slide it in and out. So it might just be like a sunbathe and bikini. These two, by the way, was two pound each. So if you like this bikini, it's two pound each. There's not much support in the boobs. It's literally a tiny bit of padding, but I've got really small boobs, so I don't need much padding at all. This one, it was a bit pricier in there. I did notice the prices in Primark have gone up by so much. Like, I couldn't believe it. Me and Maddie was in there and I was like, is this Primark or is this like, I don't know. Like it literally felt so expensive in there. Like this was eight pounds for a top. This top was eight pounds. I swear to God, like you wouldn't be paying no more than five pounds for a top in Primark. This was eight pounds just for this top, which I know is cheap. Like, me and Maddie was saying, like, if it was £8 on Pretty Little Thing, you're like, bargain. But at £8 in Primark, you're like, nah, honey, I'm not paying that. But I just really like the bikini, so I was a bit like, I'll accept it for Primark. And then this was £5 for the bottom. Yeah, again, I thought this was a bit pricey for Primark. I thought it'd be, like, £3, no more than £3. And it was £5. But anyway, I really like the bikini, so I bought them anyway. But there was this really nice blue one which was like high-waisted because I'm more into my high-waisted bikinis now that I've got a bit of a belly because I've put on a bit of weight. They were just so pricey and I feel like I can get a nice bikini online for that price. Obviously, like Primark's nice, but the quality is just not that great. If you're not, like, it's not something that would last long-term, you know, it's just something you would buy for like a, one holiday and that'd probably be it. Just bear in mind, Primark's gone up in prices. Also picked up these sunnies. Jaden was not a fan. Like when I tried these on, Jaden was just looking at me like, are you okay, love? But I really liked them. I thought, like, around the pool, I could be, like, a bad bitch. What do you think, Coops? Do you like them? Do you think mum looks cool? I think I look cool. Look, he's got his pool guys. Like, honestly, he's so cute. Hey, Do you mummy look cute? Do I look cute? Yeah? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> mum, shut up. But, yeah, I really liked these. Like, Maddie said, like, get them. Like, pick up, look, like, a few of these. I want to go back and get some more. I got some black ones upstairs. And take some different Instagram pictures. These are more just for Instagram, not for like chilling around the pool vibes, you know? That is literally all I picked up. Oh, you can see it's Kobe's ear. I've got you leaning against this like picture frame. But anyway, that is my haul from Primark. Like, I think I picked up some good little bits there. Like, it's not the best haul. I didn't really pick up much. I need to go back down there before I go on holiday. 100%. I want to get some underwear and some like travel bits because they got like the travel packets, like not packets, like the makeup bag sets and things like that. I want to go back and get because mine's just like not great for traveling. I just have like, so oh, get away from my toasty. Honey, it's not for you. It was like such a last minute little trip. Maddie was just like, Mad um, Meg, I really want to go down Primark. Do you fancy coming? I was just like, yeah, I haven't been down Primark in a while. Let's go. So I do want to go back down there again and get some bits. But in the meantime, <laughs> I'm going to sit and eat my toasty because... Whilst I was filming that, she's been looking at me the whole time. This dog, like this is not for you. This is not your toasty. No, honey, it's not yours. I'm gonna sit and enjoy my toasty with the dog staring at me. Oh my God, it's so cold. I'm actually stood by the radiator, warming my hands up, but it has been a couple of hours since I last vlogged. I think I filmed on my phone last because my battery on this camera was not yet charged. The quality wasn't that bad. So I'm doubting iPhones more than what I should because I actually vlogged on my iPhone when I first started YouTube. And to be honest, a lot of people didn't even think I did vlog. Uh, this spot is really annoying. And yeah, a lot of people didn't even notice I actually filmed on my iPhone because the quality is actually so good on the iPhones. But anyway, I'm thinking I haven't left the house today. This has been the first time in a while where I've just like lounged at home. I've got dressed, I'm wearing jeans for no reason. So I'm gonna actually change back into some comfy bottoms. And I'm thinking of doing like a little Friday freshen up like Mrs. Hinch does. Cause she does like a little quick Friday freshen up around the house. So I'm thinking of doing that because it does need it. And to be honest, I'm planning. Oh my God guys, I haven't actually said. I have booked a few extra shifts this weekend. I don't know who I think I am because I've been bragging about all this time off. It's like I've missed work. But um, I've booked a few extra shifts because they've increased the rate, like hourly rate for bank staff. If you don't work in a hospital, you probably don't understand what bank means. But it's basically like, it's like a whole separate employer thing. Sorry guys, I literally just had to like clear some storage off my battery. But as I was saying, 
I've booked some extra shifts to work this weekend because the hourly rate has gone up so much and I need the money to be honest. If I go on holiday, I need the money. So I've booked an early tomorrow. So I'm working from seven to half past one, which is actually not too bad on a Saturday. I'm planning on working Sunday night. Sunday night is literally like 28 pound an hour, guys. 28 pound an hour. But this is gonna be amazing. If I actually, the only thing is you get taxed so much, you gotta be really careful on how much you do because if you do too many, then you just get taxed like a bomb because it's class second job. So um, yeah, I'm doing some more shifts this weekend. But I'm gonna quickly just change out of these jeans because they're so comfy because I thought it was gonna be going out. But the weather's just put me off. I think because it's raining and that, it's just like, I wanna stay at home and chill out, you know? I'm gonna close the window in here. I swear to God, Kobe thinks, right? He thinks that this bed is his bed and it's not. He jumps up on the bed all the time and it's so frustrating because every time I come in here, it's just not straight. I sound crazy, but it really bugs me. But let me just change it to some joggers. Whew. Right, I'm gonna start by vlogging in. This is the utility slash junk room, to be honest. This is the room I don't really vlog in because it's ugly, it's cold, moldy, because it's like outside, but it's not, because the roof is so like, it's just plastic. You can hear the rain, by the way. That's how like groggy it is outside. It's literally just plastic, but I'm just putting a wash load on. Just, I wanted to show you actually because I wanted to show you some Audi bargains because if you're like me and love a good bargain, my mum told me a good, because I'm used to like, I literally love Lenore stuff, like anything that's like strong scented, like I want to use my wash in. But good old Trish, if you're watching mum, thanks for this because she is a good bargain hunter like me. She um, shops in Audi and also you can't buy like Lenore, well you can buy Lenore, it depends what they have in there but Sometimes you can't find Lenore in there. You have to go like to a separate shop like Home Bargains or Asda or wherever you want to get it. We found this new other one. So if you use, I normally use this. Please ignore it by the way because Kobe's literally chewed everything up in this room. We normally use like the fairy non-bio stuff like and Kobe's lost the lid which I'm going to use now. But this is a dupe from Audi and this is brilliant. It still smells nice. It still gets the dirt out of your clothes and it's also non-biased. If you've got kids, it's got a little baby on the front. It's still brilliant for kids. I literally should be sponsored by all this, guys, because I like promote them. But anyway, I'm going to use some of this because I need to make the most of it because I ain't got a lid. So I normally just put like a cap for that in my washing. And then, like I said, I normally use like Lenore or something to go like in the softener bit. But instead, literally, my stuff is wrecked, guys, because Kobe is now moved to being out here because he's chewed up the stairs. Oh my god, I didn't update you. I'll tell you anyway. But Kobe's basically, his new living area is in this room again because he chewed up my carpet on my stairs and I wasn't too happy about it, which is now all fixed. This is what he's done to this bottle, but this is the stuff I normally use or I use the blue one. I can't remember, I think it's like Ocean Escape or something like that. But this one smells lovely. I love this one, but I haven't been using this as much ever since I used this from Audi, and it's the Fairy, God, this is a state, but this is the Fairy softener, fabric softener with the little baby on the front, and this smells so nice, it smells so nice, and it's such a strong smell, you can smell it even when it's in your tumble dryer, because the tumble dryer obviously normally takes the smell of like all your clothes, so I normally just put like a cap of this into the drawer, Ooh. And it makes it smell lovely, maybe a bit more than a cat because I like my washroom to smell really nice. So yeah, I just put on like an hour. Oh my god, like there's literally stuff everywhere because there used to be blinds up here, which I put up from um, IKEA, my little trusty blinds. But um, Kobe also chewed those down, but I'm not too fussed about replacing them, so put on an hour wash. So yeah, that's what I do out here. My washing. I also washed my work shoes. You might have seen my work shoes in that pile because. Maybe we've had like an outbreak at work at the minute with COVID and stuff and I just rather wash my work shoes because they live on like, COVID lives on everything guys. COVID lives on your clothes. It lives on literally anything. So I make sure I shove it in the wash. I'm out of breath for talking to you about that guys. This looks like a burn. I keep thinking I've burnt my chin when I haven't. Anyway, whilst that's in the wash, I'm gonna wipe around the kitchen side, make it all fresh and smelling nice. Ready for when Jaden gets back. I don't actually know what we're having for tea tonight. Kobe needs some water, so let me go and get him some water. Is anyone else his dog, by the way? Like, I've got like a whole little thing for Kobe. Let me put you here because the light is better. I have like a whole setup for Kobe to have a drink and have his water and stuff. And he carries his food, which you might have seen in my vlog as well, like literally onto the sofa or on the floor that I've just mopped. And it's really frustrating. He does it every time. But yeah, he does it every time. And it's so annoying, like, especially when I've just cleaned the floor up, he's there, like, bringing his food over. And I'm like, and he dribbles so much with his water. 
I don't know what is wrong with this dog, but do some washing up. I don't know what's happening with my hair at the minute. It's just a bit crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna do some washing up and wipe down the kitchen sides. I keep changing the angles in here. Also, ignore this, it's still not painted. But anyway, I used this stuff recently. I'm gonna do like a little come clean with me. Kind of like I've recently been using the Fabulosa Electrify um, scent and honestly I love this stuff and it smells banging in your kitchen. I use that and I literally, literally my whole scent is Electrify. Actually this is Opulence which is also really nice by Fabulosa which I love. I love Fabulosa because it's so much more cheaper than um, Sephora. Like Sephora is just not it and then more uh, like I have this one my Sephora but I'm not going to use this anymore. This is the winter spice one but obviously coming into spring I don't really want to use winter spice in my kitchen. So these are my two scents that I've been using which I'm running out of this one. I need some more of this. Yeah I'm going to spritz some of this around the kitchen. Right guys now I've wiped over the sides. I have a little trick I do with my toilet, not toilet roll, tissue roll, which I'll show you. I can't remember who I see. I think this is all like Miss Hinch does it or one or the other. I literally fold the edges like this in together, fold it back up, and it makes like this little lap thing like this. Then I get the tap water, use the tap, and I literally like dab it. Oh my god, I just broke it. I just dab it underneath and it makes this little <laughs> folding thing and I just keep it on my side like that and it looks cute. How sad. Can't get much sadder than that. Honey loves. Can't get much sadder than. I'm gonna get the vacuum out and quickly just vacuum around the downstairs and hallway and all that jazz. Then put away this and then clean the sink after. doing that little cleaning sesh but anyway i literally just wanted to show you these two amazing products where is the other one gone if you're a dog owner or a cat owner that has loads of hair or you just has lo you have loads of hair on your head literally like me then these things have been amazing which i'm going to show you right now it's these two things and the coops these were literally on Amazon. This was £10. This was literally like five or six pounds. And they have been a godsend, especially with Kobe, because he literally molts so much. And it's in the dark. It's all dark fur, isn't it, Copes? <laughs> so I've got one of these and one of these because I've seen like TikToks and things. But these have been amazing. So like now with the sofa, like going over the sofa, I'm gonna go over the sofa with these. And these pick up the hair and this one has like a little compartment where all, this is gonna be a bit gross but all the hair goes inside there and it's been a godsend so i'm gonna use that on the sofa Kobe, this is not a treat my darling you keep giving me your paw also this white toenail of his is when he chewed up spray paint don't you darling i can't get off your nail <laughs> no you silly boy so let me show you the sofa so like you can't really see it to be honest because this sofa is literally disgusting up oh. Okay, be off. Let me just use this one. And you literally just like run it over the sofa and it picks up all the dog hair. So yeah, if I run it along here where you can see some of Kobe's dog hair, it just picks it all up. And he just scoots his butt back on the sofa, which is really annoying. And this one is great for carpets. Let me show you on the carpets. Let me just pop this one back on the side. And now just vacuum this. Guaranteed, or maybe not. Can you see some dog hair on there? I just run it along the carpets and it picks it all up and it's so good. I literally love it. It's like my new favourite thing. <laughs> Jaden thinks I'm so sad but honestly it's the little things. Look at all that. Like there's what it gets worse. Like it's actually so gross you probably think why Meg? Why are you showing me disgusting dog hair? And once I've done that I literally just spray over the sofas and stuff with this and this just makes the smell so so nice. Obviously, this sofa's mank anyway, but at least make them smell a tiny bit nicer while Kobe just literally lies there. Also, another thing I love is this, and it's the Fabulosa Foam Freshener, and I use it just to go over the carpets once I finish vacuuming, because I spoke about this, I think, in my last vlog, and honestly, I'll show you how it works, because it's the best thing 
ever and it smells so nice so i use this just on the bottom of the stairs really or in the bedrooms so i get it spray it all over the stairs and it makes it smell so nice honestly and i just wipe the little bit of foam left over and it's the electrify scent as well which i literally love i just want my house smelling it as fresh as i can so give me all the scents <laughs> give me all the scents cobes in it darling all of the downstairs is now all clean and it makes me feel so much better now that I've, it's like had a freshen up and it makes everything smell so nice and fresh in here like I love it now the washing's on I've got the tumble dryer on now and I leave that like that door like a little bit open because when the tumble dryer is on like all the smell it just smells like really nice throughout the house no clean is finished without putting my candle on if you haven't tried Aldi candles they're actually really good this was like four night no three ninety nine there's quite a big candle this one is blackberry and bay and it actually smells lovely so, yeah sorry guys my kettle's on which is why it's like extra noisy in here as well as the candles being on i normally just spritz around everywhere with this febreze well not norm not generally this febreze but i just spray any febreze i literally love febreze george if you're watching like he comes around and every time he comes around every time we do like a meal or anything i have to spray around the house with febreze because i cannot stand it when i come from the house and all i can smell is food I don't know if that's just me but I love it smelling fresh and nice when people come over. So I literally just spray. I walk around the whole house literally like this. Just spraying. And George, if you're watching, you're going to laugh at me because he literally laughs at me every time I spray around this. He's like, Meg, is that, that not enough? I'm like, no, honey. Literally got spray everywhere. <laughs> I just walked straight into it. Oh my God, it's all in my eyes. <laughs> That's why you don't spray it around the house. Look at my eyes warm. I literally spray it everywhere. In the porch, everywhere. Because Jaden leaves his bloody work shoes out there and it makes it stink. My face is like all wet. Say hi, vlog. Mm, my beard's ginger. I literally, I told you, we're going to have ginger kids. What's wrong with ginger kids, man? Nothing. I'm just saying, we're going to have ginger kids. Kobe's Our kids ginger, are going to be Ed Sheeran. Kobe's not ginger. Kobe, yeah, he is. He's got a bit of ginge. He looks like my beard. Ow. Right, say hello to the vlog then, darling. I've been picking Jaden's spots. <laughs> <laughs> They're not Show spots. Them. You're blackhead. He's <laughs> really. bright out here. It's like you've been all day. My he ass is in the sun. Bad we are going to go out and get the dog a dog bed. We're not, honestly. We are. And I'll drive and then we'll go out and do. I'm not spending my money anymore. I've had enough. <laughs> Fart it. <laughs> I need to let in. So I look like deadly. Oh, that actually stinks. 